boy oh boy oh boy do I have a tutorial for you today. We are going to make uh, candles, vases, bottles turn into something magical with just a little bit of plastic. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Let's jump into it. This little piece of plastic was from a uh, rabbit hole of internet goodness. I believe what happened, if I, I don't have a good memory and I forget things really quickly, but how this started, how did I discover this? Um, I'm in lots of different Facebook groups uh, when it comes to floral design, um, small businesses, things like that. And I believe this was in a floral group. Uh, I am some f fresh florist groups too, just so I can learn things as we go, as far as in the industry and yada, yada, yada. Any hoosies, back to this. I believe it was in one of those groups, somebody had posted a project and I had, recently done, and we didn't do this on YouTube, but right around Valentine's Day, um, I started making flower toppers that went straight onto a bottle of like wine or some sort of drink for a gift. It's great for Valentine's Day was really why um, I love that. And I gave one to a good friend of mine around that time of the year. And I really liked doing that. And um, we showed that on Facebook and on TikTok, and a lot of customers and um, other creatives really enjoyed that tutorial. And then I saw somebody working with this, and it was very reminiscent to that, but with less um, having to put floral foam on top of an actual drinkable item. So I was like, sign me up, let me look into this. We're going to make three different versions, I think, using this. I have some ideas, so we're going to, we're going to. We're gonna try them all and see how they go and see what we think. I, I already tried one, just a little one, because I've never worked with these and I am pleasantly happy with how it turned out. So um, yeah, I think, I think all three will work and they're gonna be completely different, very different styles for all three. So it's gonna be a ton of fun, you guys. Okay, so for the first one that we're gonna do, um, one thing to note, I no longer drink. I used to, it was a big thing for the longest time. Uh, every Thursday night, I'd have a special drink when we were doing crafting after bedtime over on Facebook. Uh, and I no longer drink. I haven't drank in over a year. Just a personal choice um, for some health reasons and things like that. So I no longer drink, but I do still have just a few bottles here in the studio from my, my drinking days. So this is a cherry vanilla um, Captain Morgan rum is what we're gonna use because I was like I'm not gonna go buy a bottle of wine <laughs> there's no reason for that so what you do is this little the bottom or the side piece is you can kind of stretch that open so slid that over and then I put a little bit of floral foam in here now you can use these with fresh flowers and you can put a wet foam in there but we're obviously gonna be using artificial and artificial filler and wood flowers so floral foam, just the regular green craft floral foam is what we want to use. And then let's break down. We're going to go very like monochromatic in some ways. We're going to use all of like same color story for our filler. This is going to be very filler heavy, which I know you're thinking that's really little. How are you going to, how are you going to fit all this? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see. So we have, this is the um, artificial seeded Italian Ruscus in light pink. So it's a really soft baby pink. Um, I just want a lot of texture for this one. And we also have our blush eucalyptus. These are all fillers you can find on ohyourlovely.com. This one we're almost out of stock of, so there's always a possibility it will no longer be available um, when you're watching this. But this one is the artificial seeded large teardrop eucalyptus in the color pink. <laughs> so there we've got that going on. Then we have the mini eucalyptus spring greenery with berries. <laughs> so this is a fun little mix. That's gonna bring in a little more, like tone it down just slightly. I kinda am loving it though, just like this. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know. But I also have that one there for something a little bit lower to the base. And then I do have this one, which I don't think we have in the shop. 
So it's just another little kind of feathery piece. So we're gonna go super simple with the wood flowers and I have some solar branches. Will we add more? Maybe. Like another style or some other cream flowers? Maybe. I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna get into it and then we'll make that decision if we need a little extra, extra bump. But I'm kind of wanting this to be a little bit more filler, fill, like filler, heavy. I would like it to be more filler heavy than flower heavy. And we'll see, we'll see. So let's bring it on down and we're gonna somehow get all of this into there. All right, here we go. So I don't have a very strong game plan of how exactly I want this to go. I am okay. Typically I like to cover all of the mechanics of something, but I'm really, this, we'll be able to cover some of that. And we're also gonna kind of put this at an angle back instead of like straight forward onto the label. We're gonna bring it back a little bit. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna craft from the back. Like I'm gonna craft backwards, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this works. All right. And I have torn off some of these um, top parts of this greenery from a different project. So I'm just gonna cut that stuff off so it's out of the way. I'm gonna cut off two stems for right now. One is already short from something else that we did. This one we're gonna cut down into other pieces, I think. Um, it is wired pretty much throughout, so we're able to also then bring some pieces to cover. And this can slide up and go down. So it kind of depends on how you want your arrangement to look too, as far as where, like how high and stuff we want things to be. Now I'm gonna go in, let's cover some. So. I'm going to focus more when it comes to this greenery. I think we're gonna, hmm, hold on. Let's try it each way. So we're not gonna use the soft, I'm gonna hold on to these though. You can stem those up individually. They're little cups at the bottom of the, the stem or the greenery itself, you can just easily add a little bit of hot glue and stem that real easily. And then for this one, I'm gonna cut this in two different places. So here we've got, I'm gonna cut right here. So I'm gonna have one little guy by itself and then I'm gonna have these two little guys. And hopefully then that gets us a little bit lower in the arrangement and I'm gonna go in at an angle to kinda I'll set that to a side we might use some more of that in a minute. I'm gonna add the blush eucalyptus next. And what I'm doing this is completely up to you how you want it to like move and groove, so to speak. I do think we are we are gonna add another cream flower in here. I have a feeling that that's going to be necessary, but we'll see for sure. All right, the more I thought about it, we definitely are gonna to need to add a flower. So first flower I grabbed, I grabbed one of our Lux flowers, that's the old English rose. Originally thinking we were gonna go be cream on, cream on cream, with that stuff going on. 
it's very pretty. And then I also grabbed a Paris rose that we um, had colored just the center in. A pink color. I think that's the winner. I think I got to do that one. So I'm gonna stem that up and then we'll get it into the arrangement and we're almost done with um, version number one. To stem the flower, it's super simple. You're going to take some floral wire. We do carry 18 and 20 gauge in the shop. I prefer 18 gauge, but it's completely a personal preference. Add a little bit of glue either to the base of the flower or to your stem, and then just insert the wire into the, I like to call it the tail of the flower, and then you're good to go. I am going to also kind of adjust the wire in the head of the flower so that it's facing outward more. All right, and I want one of these peeking up, peekabooing. We'll do the whole flower. There we go. And these are all wired too, so you can move them where you would like, depending on the direction and story you want. Then I've got another one that we're gonna go downward as well. This one we're gonna cut into multiple spots. So I'm thinking I'm gonna cut like right around here. It's not gonna leave me a lot of space. Actually, we're gonna cut here. This gives me a decent amount of space to be able to have a wire to connect into um, the floral foam. And then we've got the second dairy piece. I'm probably, I'm thinking we're gonna put that like here. It's almost gonna create a C. It is, it's totally gonna create a C. So we're gonna have this like flow that it's gonna tell, it's gonna help you tell the whole story of this piece and tell the eyes where it needs to go. We're gonna have it like connecting through. Oh, that's fun. Freaking adorable! Oh, that was, that was rather, that was rather excitable. <laughs> My goodness, how cute did that turn out? And again, you can like adjust it, bring it down if you want it. Lower to the bottle, bring it up. So you want it nice and high and twist it this way, twist it that way, whatever your heart contends that you want. And then it's like removable or you, you drink the drink and then you just put that back on there if you want. Um, put some like twinkle lights in there and you have a cute little little lighty poo. I don't know, all sorts of ideas. Um, I had seen too, somebody has suggested like, um, so for the other flower topper one, um, I was thinking of all of the different things that you would do to like hand over some sort of bottle of something. It does not have to be alcoholic, but something. A bottle of something to celebrate either a new baby, um, getting a new house, um, will you be my bridesmaid, happy birthday, like, holy buckets. This just umped that gift, really umped that gift to the nth degree. I, oh, I love it so much. I now know what everybody's getting for holidays this year. Some sort of bottle with flowers attached. How could you not? Okay, so there is idea number one. Now, say presenting a bottle of something is not your jam. I have two other ideas. One is super ambitious, so we're gonna wait to do that one last. I wanna really kinda get my, my standing legs, like feel good about this. This one is making me feel real good. Now we're gonna go to, did you guess? I didn't even give you any hints. We're gonna work on a candle. And you could do either a tall pillar candle that is an actual candle candle, or you can do one of those LED lights. And I think we're gonna go a little bit smaller. We're gonna try all of the different variations. So we're gonna go small with this one versus the midsize. And then the last one, we're gonna go extra, extra, extra. So let's jump into the candle now, shall we? All right, it's candle time, baby. So this is a small candle, but you could also do like a real large, this would be gorgeous for like a um, holiday centerpiece kind of thing. Go real extra, extra with the, the pine and all that fun stuff. But we're gonna go 
relatively um, less extra extra. We're going to focus on not a lot of greenery, not a lot of flowers, just something pretty to just bump up the candles like presents, I guess. So we're going to be using some Italian Rescus. I have three stems of that. I did on a whim just grab this lovely stuff. Now, this was from my stash. This isn't something we carry at ohyourlovely.com. Um, but I think it'll play well with the color story we've got kind of going on. And then for the flowers, they're flowers, but they're not. It's from our succulent, our most recent succulent dyed assortment. Now we do offer pretty um, regularly the dyed succulent assortment, but each time we make a new batch, they're different. So if you're loving this batch, and we always change, update the photos, so you'll know what um, which batch you're getting, but if you're loving this one, I would go quick, hurry, depending on when you're watching this, to pick this up, because once it's gone, it's gone. And oh, that one's my favorite. So these are larger flowers, they're ranging, this one's not, this is like a, one and a half. They're two and a half. I think this one though is a three inch. So we've got a little bit of a larger flower vibe going on that. Now the placement, originally I was going to go mid-level like we did with the bottle, um, but I've decided to go lower. But we can always adjust it, like if we hate it. Um, these also again have wires on them so we can play with it. Now it's interesting too, we're going to go the opposite direction. This one we were going on that side of the bottle. This time we're going to go on this side of the, on the piece. Does that matter? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of matters. It is a different kind of flow. And the question is, do I want, yeah, I do. I want that to kind of, you gotta get it in the place, in the floral foam that makes the most sense. There we go. We'll bring it up just a little bit so that that's not touching the ground. Just like you would with fresh florals, you want to pay attention to like where the greenery is directing itself to go. And these have a little bit of bend to them, so that's lovely. Only thing is when you're working with these, like the little cup does tend to kind of adjust or move around a little bit. Okay, so there's that. This is a very green heavy focused piece and I know this is going to be my main that guy's the big guy oh my gosh and you could depending on I mean this is plastic but you could I think it comes in green too I could only find the black ones but you probably could paint these couldn't you or rub and buff it, make it gold or something, that would be fun. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> Bottle, candle, here comes the much more um, ambitious project. So we've got some seeded eucalyptus. We have our sage hanging greenery. I don't know if we're gonna use this. I have some palm Beers, and then I've got a little bit of pompous grass, and I have a very tall vase. Um, the vase from this side looks like this. With um, I got this, I think, at Kirkland's. And it's got like um, some sort of grass or something in there, but we're gonna put it this way. So I kind of just want to provide the visual. We're gonna do like a two-tiered kind of arrangement. So we're gonna do a vase, so we have an arrangement going on up here. But then we're also gonna do one down here. The flowers I'm gonna use are the Country Bumpkin, also right now on the site at odorlovely.com, depending on when you're watching this. And I think, so it's got this lovely like rust kind of orange going on. There's this very lovely uh, mustardy yellow. There also is, and I don't know that I'll use them, we've got like this more rusty red. We have a spectacular like navy color. And then we have this softer yellow. I'm thinking we're gonna go the two yellows and the rust orange for this with the, the palms and the 
pompous grass and all that fun stuff. So I need to stem up these first. I'm gonna do that real fast. And then, um, I don't know if you can visualize, kind of see. I'll bring the camera in a better angle, but I, yeah. The palms are gonna be what like is connecting everything. So I don't know about the rest of the greenery, but we're gonna see. And we're also gonna work on a, a tall arrangement, which can be very intimidating to some. And I'm gonna get pompous grass all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, that was really angry, but I love it, but it floats everywhere. All right, here we go. I did also grab in between, I added some more of the um, Ruscus, but this is gonna be in a cream color instead of like what we use with the light pink. We also have a cream color option. I grabbed a few more pieces of pompous grass. These are all kind of varying in colors, just kind of dependent on the harvest, um, how they dried and things. So we've got kind of a variety. This one right up in front, I believe is a bleached um, pompous grass that we did carry at one point, but we no longer carry. Um, and this is a natural pompous that I've had for, it's been at least a year that it's been in my studio. So it's definitely kind of changed some of its coloring as well. Um, but I felt like we needed a little bit more pompous. Besides that, I also grabbed the olive branch greenery as well. I'm still debating if we're gonna use the um, sage greenery to kind of cascade. I haven't, I haven't decided. Um, I think, so I did add into this vase because it's really, really tall. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is some just scrunched up cardboard or paper, not cardboard, paper in there so that we don't have to go quite as tall and I didn't really want floral foam in there. Um, but the palms are really gonna be what is the star of this. We're just gonna start putting things in, see where we like them or don't. Now with this greenery, you are able to scoot these pieces up if you want. So I am gonna scoot them up just a little bit. I'm not gonna make them as super tight as I do for some things, but we're gonna, we're gonna scoot them up so they're not quite as long. I'm not sure how I feel about the greens yet in there. Or if we go more monochromatic again. But we already did a monochromatic, so I'm trying to trying to push myself, but we'll see what all happens. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna push through the um, I'm not sure about this phase and see what we can come up with. We've got a couple shorter pieces of the sage greenery. I'm also going to, these don't bend where they're gonna go. They're just gonna go. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. This is a little bit more of a loose, um, flowing kind of arrangement, so. I did just do three of each flower, and I think we're gonna stay with that. I did put them on longer stems for now, so we've gotta get them in to the taller arrangement. Not a ton of flowers yet. So this one's more about the, the greenery itself. Okay, so let's start working on the bottom of this. I'm gonna go at an angle because I want to be able to see. We are going to kind of 
deconstruct this a little bit and I'm going to cut a little bit of it. Oh my gosh, this extra, extra piece is definitely coming together. I'm loving the bottom in particular. I kind of want to take this off and put it on the candle just to see what it would look like too, which we might do right before. Before we wrap everything up, I just want to step back for a second and I want to look at it and see if there's additional changes I want to make, which the first one is this. I think what we're going to do is I snapped off yeah I'm liking that better I snapped off that but I think we're gonna still we want to still add that so we still have it like there we go kind of peeking through just create the layers and adjust that Again, here is our largest piece, our mid-sized piece, and our smaller piece. I don't even know if you can see it in the camera. Oh, look how cute. Okay, so I do want to try to take this piece from the big one and put it on the candle. So let's see what happens. I just really liked how that all kind of flowed together. So I'm going to take it off, and it's starting to go back to the... So it's normal size. I'm just gonna slide this off from the bottom. Slide this on. Now oh, that one, this is a lot wider. So it did adjust or change the, the shape of that. So I learned that lesson, but look how cute that looks too next to a candle. Freaking A. Oh, love it. Yeah, this one's a wide boy, so that's probably why we're having those issues. But there we go. There you have it, guys. One little piece of plastic. <sighs> Holy buckets. So many freaking options. I'm wondering, though, I'm wondering if we need to start carrying these in the shop because I'm, I'm, like, legit obsessed. So they might come to Oh Your Lovely soon. Maybe. I'm going I'm to look into that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It is definitely a fun um, way to give a gift with just a little extra like personality to it, a little bit of customization, which I think you guys know already. I am absolutely like all about. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which project was your favorite. Which one were you most nervous about? Um, should we carry this in the shop? All that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. But so I know how I said that if you wanted, if you thought we should carry the bottle toppers side things in the shop to let us know in the comments, but guess what? We, we got them anyway. <laughs> so they're now in the shop. So if you're interested in those, take a look. We do carry them at ohyourlovely.com. I'm obsessed with them so much. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So yes, we now carry them. I know I, I asked for input, but Maggie and I made a an executive decision that we had to have them in the shop. So enjoy. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And better yet, if you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know the next time we post a video, if I haven't said that a million and three times now, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery go to ohyourlovely.com but before you do make sure to grab this code use the code youtube30 to get 30 percent off your first order all right you guys i will see you next week for another tutorial i'm stephanie from oh you're lovely and you my friends are absolutely lovely bye guys